What a lovely sight! In another ten minutes, it will sink out of sight. And I'll be the cause of its early demise. For I am Sardinus, the one you'll despise! <laughs> I love causing comic, up there on the seas, I can whip up a storm whenever I please. The sailors all fear me, I'm happy to say. They know there's no hope when I have my way. It's amazing how these are Why, thank you, Neptuna. What nice things you say. When you think me horrid, it just makes my day. <laughs> oh, that's why you can't. Yes, not why you may. For all of your sins, you are going to pay. A plan I have made. A scheme I've begun. To punish you for all the evil you've done. You talk so much rot, Neptuna, my dear. I can't be destroyed. I'm not so clear. What? The lands of Atlantis? That trusty old spear? Well, that has been lost for many a year. That's soon to be found, for I know it is mine. And once it has struck you, your evil power dies. So war, you declared, then war it shall be. But I tell you, Neptuna, the victor will be me. <laughs> Spreads. Are you trying to make a mug out of me? 
I'll take him a bit later. <laughs> no, no, he's just my little joke. Joke! Joke at the time like this! What a desperate state we're in! A ship full of cargo and no crew! Yeah, no what a dreadful, desperate state yeah. we're in! What an actor! <laughs> I'm too glad I'm not getting a part on Crossroads if he's not careful. Have you thought that if I don't get this the crew, one, that's one. you will be out of a job as well? Well, I never thought of that. Hold on. Now, come here, you are. Now, you can see the predicament our poor captain's in. I mean, you wouldn't like to see him thrown a scrap. You wouldn't like to see him lose his job, would you? What has he been dried up? What did they say? Uh, nothing. Uh, oh. Oh, uh, just a minute. I think they might see the story. Oh, lead us to me. What have you got to offer? Why, my good sir, we offer the best wages in the fleet. We offer the finest working conditions. We offer numerous fringe benefits. Fringe benefits. We get a free echo. Fringe benefits. But how much money are you putting on the table? Oh, dear. What's the tea you see this? Um, how does 25 pay a day, Ravio? Twenty-five p a day. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to go and ask my brothers. Brothers? Mm -hmm. They must have a big family. Yeah, a don't that's what's You can't pay twenty-five p a day. Oh, you will have to. At least we are negotiating. Is that what we do in there? I'm always free. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm discussing okay. with my brothers, and they're willing to consider it. Uh, twenty-five p a day. Yes, let's of course deduct them. Oh, yes, 20 p a day for your keep and 5 p a day for facilities. Oh, oh she won't buy that. Who won't? Felicity. I said facilities. Amenities, you know. Oh, well, that doesn't sound too good to me. I'll have to go back and re-discuss it. Oh, dear, dear. I don't think you made much of an impression there, Captain. Did anyone ever tell you you have a talent for stating the obvious? Uh, oh, thanks very much. It wasn't meant as a compliment. <laughs> I'm fed up, cheese dog, down in the mouth and under the weather. He's not happy. No, the first sensible thing you've said today. Is he good? Well, I take it you didn't have any luck finding a crew then. Correct. Don't worry, something will turn up. Don't worry, something will turn up. Dad? Sounded just like your mother, God rest her soul. Well, she was always right. And if she was here now, she would know what to do. Oh? You know, Dad, I think you ought to get married again. Mars isn't it? Feels me in danger of losing my crew because I can't get a ship. Because I can't get a crew. I've got a ship. And here, all you can talk about is me getting married. Well, I was trying to cheer you up. Well, I'm sorry, but it's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Oh? <laughs> Nothing's impossible. I have found for when my chin is on the ground. I pick myself up. Dust myself off.
Mikey for you? No, Bill Berry Pie. Yes, Bill Berry Pie. With those little squiggly bits on top. Little squiggly bits. Oh, goody, goody. Oh, goody, goody. <laughs> well, we're going to have some squiggly bits, can't we?
Billy Crusoe gang then. Who knows this? Can it be Alan Robinson, my big brother? It's certainly Robinson, it's great. Oh, you're in for an RMRC show. Wow. Oh, yeah, it's a Every day she keeps saying, where's that good-for-nothing son of mine? I keep thinking she needs me. Why? Are you good-for-nothing too? Who me good-for-nothing? Of course not. I'm good for... for... Uh, stick about to go pop tonight. Oh, Billy! Really? Billy, really, can I ask you a question? Yes. Would you like to be rich? Would I like to be... No, don't give me any clues. I, I know the answer to this one. Uh, yes, yes. You would? Well, perhaps I could count on you for a little scheme I have in mind. Can't tell me for anything of this money, innit? Great, now then, all I need is a ship. Oh, a ship. my father has a ship. Oh, that's if he can get a crew. Oh. Well, you can tell him he can have his crew. Long as we can go to Robinson's Treasure Island. Oh, Treasure Island? That's right. A Treasure Island? Gold, silver, jewels, bouncy bars and fish fingers. <laughs> I love bouncy bars and fish fingers. Oh, so I can count on you then, can I? Yes, only if the captain let me drive the ship. Right. I've always wanted to drive. You shouldn't see me drive a ship. Clutch down, handbrake off, into first, indicator, check a mirror, roll to antifreeze. Billy! Ship boy! Billy! Now they have six. <laughs> Just a minute, I think you've got a wrong idea there. Oh. Yes, come on, Robinson, let's go and tell Dad the good news. I'm sure he'd be delighted to go to your island, and you can guarantee him a crew. That's right. See you later, Billy. Oh, Bye. 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 If only I were rich. If I were rich, I could have an action man. <laughs> Didn't get one for Christmas. I could have a video game. I could even afford a ticket to the Theatre Royal. And I could sit there and be miserable. But I'll never be rich. We've always been poor. Even when I was a baby, we were poor. My mum couldn't afford a pram. And when she took me to the shops, she used to wet my lips and stick me on the window. And she used to buy all our clothes from the army surplus store. It was very embarrassing going to school on prize day, dressed up as a Japanese admiral. <laughs> and none of the other kids who would come and call for me, they never came to our house. My mum used to tie a pork chop around my neck so the dog would play with me. We didn't have one. But you'll be my friends, won't you, my gang? You'll be, you all be in my gang, won't you? Listen, we've got a very special mascot in our gang, and I'll show you who our mascot is, because nobody else has got one like this. This is Cedric. He's a talking goldfish. He can talk. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, yes, he can. Do you believe he can talk? Well, I'll tell you what, if you all say hello, Cedric, I'll get Cedric to say hello, everybody, back. So after three. One, two, three. Hello, Cedric. Say hello, everybody, back. I told you he could talk, didn't I? You didn't believe me, did you? Hey? Did you believe me? No? What's your name? What's your name on the end? Paul. Paul? Well, I'll tell you what, Paul. If you say hello to Cedric, I'll get Cedric to say hello, Paul. Will you do that? Yeah. Okay, say hello, Cedric. Hello, Cedric. Say hello, Paul. <laughs> See, I told you, didn't you? didn't believe me, did you? <laughs> all right, well, you've got some special parties in tonight, my gang. Thank you. And all these people are in my gang. I'm going to read your names out. I want to give a cheer so we all know where you are. Okay. We've got the St. Helens Football Social Club. Mrs. Ford or Mrs. Hughes, where are they? Hey! 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 Now we've got St. Andrew's Sunday School, where are they? Hey! Hey! And we've got the ICI Mon Division Run Call, Mrs. Jones's party, where are they? Hey! 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 And we've got, let me see. Right, so we've got some birthdays now. We've got Sharon Rick's birthday party, and she's 10. Happy birthday, Sharon. Hey! 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 Oh, oh, we've got 
Grant Pryor on his his birthday today. He's now happy birthday, Grant to me! Look what you grew for. And then there's Catherine Pearson from Wigan, and she's now in tomorrow. Happy birthday, Catherine! Yay! Yeah, cheeky monkeys. But listen, my gang, I read in the paper that some people in St Helens have been stealing goldfish and making goldfish butties. And we don't want them to steal our Cedric, do we? Do we? We don't want anyone to play around with our Cedric, do we? I tell you what, if anyone goes near you, will you shout me? Will you, will you shout me like a, if anyone goes near you, will you, will you say, Billy, Billy, fishy, fishy, will you say that? Oh, no, you won't. Okay, we'll have a practice after three. One, three, two. That's great. Don't forget, will you, my gang? Oh, look how troubles arrived. Here's me, Ma. Bye, Ma. Oh, I've never seen such a tilt grab here. Now I'm in song. <laughs> in search of buried treasure. And I'm going to set in on that. I am. I'm going to sign on. As a sailor. Oh, kids! Do you think I'd make a good sailor? No! Don't you? No! Oh, oh you might say that. So I bought this book on the subject. How to be a sailor. Now let's see what he says. Hey. Oh, it's awful! Hey. It's shut. Lovely blue and white tailors, so it's our lip pretty. Oh. 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 
No. Do you want to come up here and prove me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I tell you what, if you get together with my friends, you might be able to help me, might you? You can't. Oh, thank you. You're very kind. I tell you what, oh, I've got a good idea, kids. If every time we meet, I shout out to you, Hello, shipmates! Could you shout that to me nice and friendly like? Hello, sailor! Could you do that? Yeah. No, I'm sure you could. Hey, let's have a little practice. I'll pretend I'm going to the shops for the sweeties. No, I'm going to the shops for the sweeties. I've got the sweeties. I'm coming back. Hello, shipmates! Absolutely average. <laughs> you can do that. Let's have it like nice and loud, Nick. Let's have a practice again. I'll go to the shop for more sweeties, Nick. I'll go to the shop. I've got the sweeties. Hello, shipmates! That was lovely. I'm feeling better already. A lovely, nice, friendly, like a ring. I'd like to go for sailing across the salty sea, boys. I'd like to be a mad oh, and be like mad of me, boy. And every time when I go out, I have this jolly halo. I shout out, hello, shipmates, and you shout, hello, Hey, I was given a message before I came here. I've written it down here. Is there a Mr. and Mrs. Walker in the house? Mr. and Mrs. Walker, where are you? Oh, I can see him at the back there. Your crisps have arrived. Walker's crisps. <laughs> They tell me though it's cold there. Uh, I wear the only best boys. And every time when I go out, I have this jolly hailer. I shout out, hello shipmates, and you chant. Oh, I've got another bag of crisps at the bottom. Who wants these here? <laughs> And you was the light of flickers. And if that little lad went out, I'd have to wave me. Oh, he's about to be turned up. Every time that I went out, I'd have this jolly hailer. I'd shout out, hello, oh, shit, please, and you chant. I've got one more left. Go on, please. My message might be sparse. The ship that's called the bows and the bag is called the uh, And every time that I go out, I can this jolly halo. I shout out, hello, shipmates, and you shout Be more careful next time. I get proper fed up, you know, going round and round in circles on that lake. So I thought I'd come down to this dock for a bit of adventure, but it's great down here. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Well, I can offer you a real adventure with a handsome reward at the end. What do I have to do? I hope it's nothing naughty because I'm a good boy, I am. Well, it was worth a try. Listen close! Oh, I can't help but you bellowing down the hero. I have lost something. Well, with all that I've done, you won't miss it, will you? I have lost a map. In fact, it has been stolen from me. Stolen? Well, I've got to the foot of our stairs. Who do a thing like that? I said Robinson. Robinson? Doesn't he make barley water? No, no. This Robinson is Robinson Crusoe. He is a horrid person. He must be finished. He must be finished. <laughs> well, who's going to do that? You are. Me? Well, I'm not. I can't do anything dastardly or wicked or evil. And besides, I'm a coward. 
You will do as I say. Look into my eyes. What do you see? Do I move? Look deeper, deeper, deeper. Hey, I can see the back of your head now. <laughs> You are now in my power. I am now in your power. You will do everything I tell you. I will do everything you tell me. Now listen closely. Now listen closely. No, you listen closely. No, you listen closely. <laughs> you must get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up. What must you do? I must listen closely. Oh. I must get the map. I am now in your power. <laughs> I will do everything you tell me. I must get the map. Mr. Mack, I'm half a pound of cement and two bags of pebble dash. The able lady keeps forgetting to call them, you know. Hello, shipmates! I must get the map. I am now in your power. I will do everything you tell me. I must get the map. I am now in your power. What seems to be trouble? I will do. Avon calling. Where did you spring from? Are you having a funny turn? Well, I've been crying. Well, what you want to do is get away from it all. Well, that's right, that's just what I do want. Well, you've come to the right place. There's a ship leaving tomorrow, and they're looking for a crew. Oh, that's great, that's just what I want. We'll go and sign on over there. Over there, over there. Over there, over there. Oh. Oh. What a funny fella. You meet all sorts, don't you? Oh, and speaking of all sorts, here comes Captain Pig's Pie. No time, Mrs. Crusoe. Don't be thought, we'll call me Tallulah. Ooh. Now what's all this I hear about you wanting to come on the voyage? I want to, I want to, I want to. Oh, you're keen, are you? Well, we can do with the cook. Now, your man. But remember, I give the orders. I'll have an ad gin and tonic. What do you want, Lord Pax? I've been towed down here. But look at it over there. Tie them over there. I'll get them there. Well, I suppose I should be, but going to this island of yours is going to take me quite a bit out of my way. Now, Captain, we made a bargain. Yes, and I'll stick by. And I'll make sure you do, or you won't get any crop. <laughs> Isn't it marvellous, son? I'm coming along with cook. Oh, no! That's how nice! <laughs> well, in that case, we're going to be one big happy family. Because Polly's coming too. Yes, that's right, isn't it, Daddy? I suppose so. Another part of the bargain. Yes, sir. Tomorrow we set sail for adventure and fairy treasure. <laughs> Who are you? My name's Neptune, the goddess of the sea. My lady. 
The lights are on that. Well, the weather lights have changed to green and you're off to turn back. Which way will you go? That way. Well, you'll go that way. I won't. I'll go that way. Why? It's a one-way street. Oh, I can't go. Oh, don't give up now, Mo. I'm just getting the hang of it. I'll get the hang of you in a minute, Perry. Okay, I'll give you one last chance. Now, if I take this leg away, what have I got? Yes. I've got a left leg. Oh. If I take this leg away, what have I got? A sore bottom. <laughs> I'll take a bit down. Ta-ta, shipping. Ta-ta. Hang up, Jack. See you later, my gang. Bye-bye. Well, I'm ready for off. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to this, you know. It wasn't for them funny dreams I keep having. This voice keeps telling me to do nasty things. And I'm nice, really, you know. I wouldn't harm anyone. <laughs> I must get the map. I am now in your power. I will do everything you tell me. I must get the map. <laughs> Oh, no, they don't. 
they say I I. Miriam. What? What? Miriam. I thought you said I I. I was saying Eria to I I. <laughs> you must be all eyes and ears, you lot. We are. And just you remember it. And another thing. Remember, I'm the boss. Who are you the boss of, Captain? You! Well, what am I then? You are nothing! Well, he must be the boss of nothing. <laughs> come aboard, madam, come aboard! Oh, shit, Here. Now you're here, perhaps you'll do something about it. Yeah, me, 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 stop the cleaning. I have to think of my hands. How do you think I keep them so soft? Oh, I wash all the dishes. Oh, you found your way in here then, did you? We were hoping you wouldn't. What was that? We were just saying how pleased you were you could come along. Now then, Captain, I've put all the provisions. Everything has been provided for, madam. I hope you've got plenty of tea. Oh, it's oh. here. I knew there was something I forgot. I never got any tea. What? I haven't got tea. I must have tea. I must have tea. I must have tea. I must have tea. 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 Some tea. Well, somebody had better go and get us some. We have enough to do. Come on. I've got no tea. I've got no tea. I've got no tea. Look, Ma. I'll go and get you some tea. Oh, you got that. I'll go and get me a nice pint of tea from the market. And while he's gone, I'll just go and have a gander at the galley. If I find a nice sailor, I'll let him call me Busby. I'm cheaper after six, love. Ta ta! Ta ta, Shipley! Going to visit far off places. Yes, and this time I'm coming with you. Yes, we can have our adventure together. Uh, by the way, uh, who was that girl you were seen talking to on the quay? Oh, um, nobody in particular. Just um, somebody asking the way. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. No, Polly, you didn't. Never mind what I thought. You know, Polly, you don't have to worry. You're the only one for me. Oh, brother. Hey, there, there, there. No, I don't have that to do on my ship. I like canoe on this ship. I like canoe yeah. I do, and I like flying lights, and I like warm clappers, and I like uh, spare lips. Enough! Like now we have to have it. Have you got the knife? I have. Good! Then let us go down and look at the charts. Oh, no need to look at the charts. Please not tell you who's in the charts. Who's number one in the charts this week? <laughs> Rock it off. You mean me? Who's number two? Ooh, ooh. Ooh, right there. Ooh. And who's number three? Ooh. I, I'm talking about the maritime navigational charts. Don't spoil the story, we have to enjoy that, won't you? <laughs> you get clever, that's what it is. Bigger. Bigger than Magnus Magnuson. Looks more like Magnus Pike. <laughs> have you done? Come on! <laughs> well, it's not quite a place. Well, I'm really looking forward to this, you know. I'm going to see at last, and I'm going to make friends with everybody. It's going to be great. Have you got the map? Give me a chance, I've met anybody yet. You must get the map. You must get the map. Oh, you don't talk, go on, you do. You work for Mrs. Jones from ICI. Remember, you have a duty to perform. I know, I know. I must get the map. I am now in your power. I will do everything you tell me. Once I have the map, I will be safe from harm. And then I can carry on with my bad work. That's stupid, Dave Atkins. 
will be of no use to me then. I'll just finish him off with the rest of them. Chicken pie, so go and get the chicken, Billy. 
cầm lái xin thầy xin xuống xa Cảm ơn thầy thầy Đặt chơi vui lập Đặt chơi vui lập Chúng tôi đồng chí 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 Charming. Prince Charming? Yes. 
As a matter of fact, the Prince's bullet will be here very shortly to sell this on and start the hunt. Now then, I trust you will all be riding with the Prince this glorious morning. I'm sure they're all being delighted. Oh, splendid, absolutely splendid. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Captain. It's all right, Prince Charlie. We'll leave the hunt this beautiful morning. Ah, now tell me, Dandy. How is his highness these days? Yes, tell me, Dandy. How is Well, you have been quiet. <laughs> I shall ask the questions around here. Now tell me, Dandy. How is his highness these days? Ah, oh, he's as gallant as ever. But between you and I, I think he's seeking someone with whom to share his affection. Ah, you mean the prince is looking for a wife? No, my dear sir, I didn't say that. Let me put it this way. In the spring, a young man's fancy usually turns to love, does it not? Oh, yes, indeed. And what would you know about it? You don't even know what love is. Yes, I do. Love is, sir. Uh, Love is like a fire. <laughs> oh, the sound of that idiot's chewing. Oh, hey, have you know my voice has been trained? Yes, yeah, what with the chair and went. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. Come, let us make arrangements for the hunt. What a good idea, Daddy. Good morning. Good morning, Well, I tell my problems. Oh, my name's Carter Potter, Potter by name and Potter by heart. All I've got for a drink today is a town note and a ten pence piece. Oh, I'm a poverty level, the rates are due on the Baronial Hall. I've got three daughters, two of them won't do a tap of work. The leave all to the pretty one, Cinderella. And to make matters worse, here's Arthur Daly and mine now. <laughs> ah, there you are, Baron. Tell me, are you joining the hunt? I'm afraid the old grey mare, she ain't what she used to be. Now, that's no way to talk about your wife. <laughs> I was not referring to my wife. I am a widow and twice over. My first wife passed away eating poison mushrooms. I lost my second wife when she fell off a cliff. How come she fell off the cliff? She wouldn't eat the mushrooms. <laughs> No, 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 no. I think he's talking about his horse. Of course, the Baron was referring to his horse. No stupid boy! <laughs> he means he's not at home in the saddle anymore. How dare you unprepared? Are you? Beneath these, I'm wearing my jockey shorts. Ah, oh, but are they comfortable, Baron? Not really. I think the jockey's still in them. <laughs> Yes, well, never mind all this. What about the money you owe me for the last month's drink? Top of my head. I've just told these lovely people here all I've got for a drink today is a town note to the ten pence piece. Right, now you're looking for a start. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you laughing at? Why the joke is still in You'll have to excuse him, he's just stupid. In fact, he is so stupid, Bellum. That if I give him the choice of this ten pence piece and this pound note, he's the type who'll choose the ten pence piece. Never. Watch. Now, Bamber Gascoigne, your start at the ten, but no confirming, give him the choice of this shiny, brand new ten pence piece and this warm pound note, which are you going to choose? Well, that's easy! The shiny ten pence piece. What did I tell you? You're not taking the piece of bed to rub it up with. You're the idiot! Yes, 
Sir, my name is Gertrude. Yes. But you can all call me Gertrude, you mean to rule part out of your life. Thank you. And this is my sister, Gwendolyn. I'm the pretty one. <laughs> I beg your pardon, I'm the pretty one. I'm the voice of God. Yeah, 
I'm just saying that I'm thinking of it inviting Cinderella. She's she, 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 He's only got one line, he's going to get enough to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's going to tell him? Yes. I'm inviting Cinderella if you don't behave yourself. Oh. So meanwhile, let us prepare to walk his way. Have a <laughs> Oh, 
what is your greatest wish? Oh, I wish that someday a prince would come along and take care of me for the rest of my life. Have faith in the poor old lady. And one day, your wish will come true. Just imagine if only the old lady's promise would come true. Tis the hunter telling and I must not be seen here in my kitchen rats. Ready mix. Uh, come on, Gertrude. 
Come to me, Shah. Are you can screw my back. What I can do with it, believe me. Right. I'll take the shards and you can screw my back. There you go. The biggest share is covered very fast. I think the ball is going to be a big success, Your Highness. But I'm not your Highness. We met. <laughs> I 
just came from the door there, and there was a sale of work. Do you know it took me two hours doing my good deed today? My good deed today? My good deed. Help me an old lady across the road. Well, why did it take you two hours? She didn't want to go across the road. <laughs> now, Cinderella, why are you so unhappy looking? Well, I'm not so unhappy that you're Good. You do cheer me up. Well, I've got something a good guy can cheer you up. What are you getting that cost a barrel of kangaroo? You don't know. A fur coat with deep pockets. <laughs> what are you getting that cost a potato with a sponge? I don't know. Neither do I, but I hold your stack of gravy. <laughs> I've got a secret, by the way. What are you going to tell me, you see? No, I can't tell you because it's a secret, but I'm in love. Will you help me again? 
Well, of course I will help you. You see, I'm very poor, but anything I have, I will share with you. I'm so very helpful. Do you think you would find me a little something to eat? Well, I only have half a loaf, but you may have it. Mm. Once again, you have proved your kindness to someone in distress. And this time you will be rewarded. You think that I'm a poor old lady. <laughs>
button straight on Larry. Why, what's wrong? I want to help you to impress this record producer. Ah, you should have said so earlier. So I brought along this very scientific device. Yes, that looks very scientific. It is. Very yeah. scientific. What happens? I place that down there. Uh, and when you when you sing, your voice hits it and runs around the rim and then resonates and reverberates all the way around the auditorium. I see. The walls of the music, the producer's listening. I don't know if are, I know it by. Oh. oh, what is all the mercy of oh, us in? You must forget a sponge. Oh, I know. Oh, the what is all the mercy of oh, what is all the mercy Hey, hey. Is the what is the mercy not overflowing yet? No, it's not enough for you. Yeah. Oh, no. Well, I'm very sorry. 
You can't get in without a ticket. You can't get in without a ticket. You can't get in without a ticket. And leave. And leave. Please. Please. Restraint. I know what I'm doing here. I will ask the musical director for the letters alone of a few tickets to get us into the ball. Good idea. Right, sir. Excuse my part. You will. Restraint. I want to give you lend me, uh, Norman, the letter alone of a few tickets to the ball, please. One ticket. Well, that'll do. And that's one I owe you. Thank you very much. Excuse me. I want sir, two tickets. Well, I'll give two tickets. But there's one, and that's one I owe you. One you owe. Right. Yes, sir. I want two tickets. Well, I've only got one. So there's one ticket, and that's one ticket I owe you. Right. <laughs> I can do with a couple of tickets for the ball. Well, I've only got one. So there's one ticket. That's one I owe you. Well, I need two tickets for the ball. Well, I've only got one ticket. That's one ticket I owe you. <laughs> Well, there's your ticket, and that's your nice square. Oh, what's the ticket? So there's your ticket, that's your nice square. There you are, Norman. There's your ticket bag. That's all the square. <laughs> <laughs> we still got no ticket. You look like very, very fun. But you can't get in without the ticket. 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 We've all got it without a ticket. <laughs>
is over. Masquerade? It's not a masquerade, it's my real face. Uh, well, I am the prince, and this my dear is my noble valet, Dan Dean. Oh, oh, it's a thick of puppy, best dress on for you. And I'm the prettiest dancer, boys and girls. Oh, yes, I am. Phil. Yes, we've been done. We've been gazumped. And now I've got to start all over again, courting this one. <laughs> Dan Dini, is there something wrong, Your Highness? Oh, how can I possibly enjoy the ball when the one girl I really want to dance with has got to provide? Present now for Her Royal Highness, the Princess Crystal. <laughs> Oh, 
Star Wars? Is that? A zombie makes a scene on fire. We don't want drunk character. That's slap. We should be driving. I think we should be going slow. Right. Let's take the two stars. Yes. That's ready.
shall make his wife. And so, Dandini, I understand that this is the last house in the district where we may find ladies to try on the Ah, we have to try everybody at the end, Your Highness. I have, my dear lad. Uh, have someone in my house, then. Well, I am willing to let your daughters try the slipper, as I know they are at the ball. They certainly were. I shall call them immediately. Oh, but surely, madam, you don't think that your uncle in power will put that dainty slipper there? Oh, it's ready. You can never know your love. Go to Gwendolyn! Yes, we be right now, we're here. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, it's the prince. prince. Will you please throw on the slipper and make me rich? Yes.
See them all, wouldn't you? Would you like to see these two? Yeah. Yeah. Well, now, who wants to take one of those home from the weekend? All right, well, we'll have all your names and addresses, and whoever gets picked out of the hat, it will be posted on here. Now, if you'd like a souvenir of the two ponies, you bring a plastic bag around the back. From all of us here, good night and God bless you. Good night.